On today's Till We Make It, let's crack this nut open. How long should your ring entrance last? I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. And today's video will explore this topic, which I must admit, until about a year or so ago, I had never given a lot of thought to. It's this, how long should your entrance last? And the reason I never really gave this any thought is perhaps because it is part of the performance I often neglected. I would often obsess on every other part of the performance and neglect the entrance. But here's the truth about your wrestling ring entrance. That is the beginning of act one. That is the beginning of the shine. It's the moment you appear on stage. And from that moment forward, you are performing. I gained a really valuable insight into this thought process about a year ago when I was contributing at a TV taping for NXT. What I noticed about the way in which the show was timed out was that it always allowed 60 seconds for every ring entrance that was going to make television. 60 seconds was the standard and still is to this day. So if that's the case, what are some details that you need to drill into to get the most out of those 60 seconds if they are reserved specifically for you? It's 60 seconds of time where the camera is only going to be focused on your character. Your opponent will often not be in the shot whatsoever. And during those 60 seconds, the commentators have the opportunity to get your character over, to recap any salient story points, and to advance the plot and help foreshadow whatever is coming in the performance. If we rush past it, we truncate our entrance, we force it to fit into 15 seconds, the commentators do not have enough time to do that important work. In addition to all the verbal storytelling that the commentators are doing in those 60 seconds that are uniquely dedicated to getting your character over, there's also storytelling you can be doing to inform what the audience needs to understand before the opening bell even begins. Here's an example. If your character is an acrobatic high flyer, you can probably design an entrance that communicates that to the audience before the bell even sounds, before they see you lock up for the very first time. Or what if your character has a relationship with an inanimate object? You talk to a sock puppet, for example. Well, you can get that across to the audience before the bell even begins. Remember, this entrance is part of the first act. This is part of when you must set up and establish everything the audience needs to know in order to enjoy your performance. Now granted, just because 60 seconds happens to be the standard somewhere doesn't mean it is the standard everywhere, but it might be in your best interest to try this simple exercise. Film your entrance with your music playing and watch it back to see how long it runs. If you are being given 60 seconds, or 60 seconds is typically blocked out in the show format for an entrance, that means you want to take up as much of those 60 seconds as humanly possible without going over the time you've been allotted. There's a very good reason we should not go over the time that we've been allotted, and it is this. Either that performance will end up being cut down in editing, or the time will be taken away from another performer who needs it. Try to restrict your entrance neatly to that one minute time frame. It's a perfect ideal to shoot for. Don't be surprised if you have this revelation when you watch that video footage back. If the first 25 seconds of that 60 second block is wasted while you're waiting for the beat to drop on your entrance music, it might be time to consider getting a new edit or an entirely different song made so that more of those 60 seconds involve you being on stage. That's camera time that's been put aside for you. You may not be capitalizing on. And that time period where music is playing but no one is yet on stage is like dead air on radio. That is when people lose interest. So if you're looking for an opinion on how long your ring entrance should last, and I take it for granted that you're interested in my opinion or you wouldn't be here, 60 seconds is what I think you need to be shooting for. And as you're practicing and watching it back, take a look at it from a variety of different angles so you get a sense of how it plays to different sides of the audience. Is the audience around you 360 degrees? Are they all on one side of the ring set up? Do you have to better orient something specific about your character ritual so hard cam picks it up, making sure all the home viewers get to enjoy your entrance as much as the live patrons do? All of this 
is worthy of consideration and timing it out so you get the most out of your 60 seconds without leaving time on the table nor going over the time you've been allotted is a skill. It's going to take a while to warm that up, get it perfected, get it optimized so that you feel confident the next time you walk to the ring. And if there are other methods of performing or structural ideas that you need at your beck and call to feel even more confident when you're between the ropes, I cannot recommend strongly enough my book, Seven Keys to Becoming a Better Performer, is available in digital or print format from Amazon.com, or there is an audiobook version which I narrate myself, and it's waiting for you right now over at Audible.com. No matter what version you pick up, you'll do so with my thanks, and I hope that you enjoy it.